mother... Alright, today, Starlight Aquatics, we're going to make a bullet filter for your powerhead. You're going to need a, a bottle. You're going to need, of course, the bottle cap, which you're going to home out to go around the powerhead. Uh, basically, you're only going to need to make one of these. Because if you cut different lengths and put all your stuff in a new bottle because the bottles get wore out, these caps stay good. So, transferable. This one was actually on a Mountain Dew bottle. That was the last one. This is obviously another soda bottle. So, what we're going to do, I have to clean this one out because it's dirty. But, uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a bullet filter I was making this was for something else I was doing I was doing a test with uh, trying to make a biomedia kind of like a reactor and it worked out good but uh, until I get the kinks out of it no use in showing you guys trying to make it and aggravate yourselves all right so anyway i do have here's my bottle as you see it's cut i'm gonna trim it i do have a little bit of this uh you can use filter floss uh the fine foam basically it's gonna let you take your media and then uh you know, all that, you're going to be able to basically take one thing and transfer it to the other. Here, let me make it so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Alright, so anyway, there you go. You got plenty of this media stuff. You got a rubber band. I use a hair tie. To, to make sure that it doesn't slip off the um, the power head and then a couple of these uh, this is actually this was actually just a square one of those square uh, it actually came with the with uh, this stuff so I mean if you can you can reuse it filter floss is fine let me uh, spray this out clean out my bottle my bottle's dirty All right. Whenever you do it, you can just clean your bottle. It makes it easy. I am going to trim. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to trim. I need to trim the shit out of this. So. All right, now, this is proper. This is what we got. All right, so, got a leaf on me. What you want to do is you can be creative with this, okay? So, you have your bottle. You can, obviously, the, the power head's going to come down through here. It's going to suck it up, and then it's going to fresh water into the tank, you know? And through your media out so you can be creative with this uh, you can put a piece here put your media and then put another one with the media in I mean you can do it any way you want to um, this is basically going to help keep any kind of like contaminants out this is obviously if you looked at it doing its job because it's a little dirty i'm gonna have to rinse that out this is going to be a little bit of a long video guys because this isn't just uh you know just saying hey look at this shit um you're actually going to be making something oh shit almost forgot um 
for all you kiddos out there, get a parent to help you with this step because it's going to require a little bit of heat. You're going to need to use a lighter. Do not try this unless you have an adult because uh, I don't want to be responsible, nor am I responsible if you uh, set something on fire. So that being said, you just light and it curls the ends in. Just a little bit. See, he just curls it in, curls it in. Keep, keep rotating it. See, and just, just keep curling it in. And just go deep in there. Strengthens the plastic a little bit, and it gives you something that you can slide. not so sharp either and hurt the damn fish you know but uh I have uh see that's nice and kind of curled in it's kind of it's not so rugged anymore now of course you want to clean that off uh, anytime because you know you're burning it and, and whatnot you don't want to not clean a little area that you were torching. But anyway, that's all cleaned up. You know, it's, it's not so jagged anymore. Now, my original idea, I just put it in here. I didn't care if it was touching the actual intake. Um, I do, here, I'll show you the original, the OG one. The OG one was very simple, okay? check it out this one what was it it would suck all the bad stuff out of the tank and it would basically even uh trap shit on the bottom of this but what i would do is i would fill up my i'd fill it up like that now i'm holding it like this because i don't want it to come out but then i would i would put like one two you know crisscross them you know like that and i'm gonna lose a couple but that's okay i can just i'll set it down all right so what i would do is i would take this because this used to be a net which actually held all this biomedia so what you got to do is be creative you got to cut this you know so basically you end up with something like this that you can wrap around this, you know. So basically, I just pull it over, you know what I mean, like that. See what I did there? See, it's got to clean. If if food gets stuck right there, it's not gonna just take it in. Uh, my discus actually get food that gets trapped right here. They'll just kind of peck it off and whatnot. That's why you want to bend these edges so it's not sharp and it don't you know there's no way your fish is going to hurt himself or herself and you got that little bit of <clears throat> foam filter there so what you want to do is around your uh your netting you're going to want to do this you're going to want to try to keep her on there uh, good to have rubber bands around. Always save them. And then, this is the bullet, guys. Basically, it has that soft, met, that soft, uh, you know, kind of filter pad in there. This, holding it all in. You got that wrapped up around there. That's, of course, in there. This is all the biomedia on top. And then <clears throat> the last thing you got to do, this is the pain in the ass of it, okay? <clears throat> Putting this together doesn't take long at all to do. This is a pain in my ass, okay? Just because it takes a couple minutes to make and you really have to be careful not to cut yourself or, or 
fuck your fingers up, okay? Because, uh, I mean, you can seriously hurt yourself, okay? What I do is I drill through the cap, okay? And then I would home it out. Now, normally you'll see on the inside of this, there's a little, like, rubber, uh, like a little rubber, or, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a, like a, like a sealer, um, uh, like a gasket, you know what I mean? Like inside of there, you can see, I guess that makes it really, like, uh, tight, you know, with the carbonation when you have, like, sodas in them or whatnot. But normally, you, you, Go all the way up to that little gap, and then and then you're good to go. But do it little by little because if uh, if you can make them snug, the snugger the better, you know. Now this one I do have <clears throat> a couple little holes here, you know, around the top. The original design that was and what went in had to go through all this, go out. I'm trying this with the holes try it with or without if you find out that you don't like it then don't do the holes if you do I'm actually gonna try it maybe that might work out for me that's kinda new so I know one of you guys asked me to show you how to do this so here it is this is the bullet I will um, show you what I the hair tie that I was talking about cuz mine's a little loose I'll wrap it around you know, I just one, twist it around, and then I'll show you how I'll show you how I do the rest. I'll put this on. Okay. So here's the tank. Here is the power head. So what I would do is I will put this up over see how I got that and then I'll hook that onto that right there like that and BAM you got yourself a three stage cleaning machine man right there so goes through all that up through the you know you got a mechanical you got a bio got it all in one and it doesn't take up a lot of space so definitely 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 works let's set mine a little bit higher get them jingle jangling around in there a little bit and that's it that is how you make it I actually uh, I started making these um, a while ago, and it does help keep the tank clean. So, uh, there's the discus. Uh, my dragon goby did pass away. So now I have, uh, I have some plecos in there, uh, along with my farewells that, uh, do the cleaning. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you make these. If you have any, have any questions, just hit me up. Uh, you know, send me a message. I'll help you out. If you if you uh, have any problems trying to make them, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Starlight Aquatics. Happy reef keeping. Happy fish keeping. See ya.